I'm surrounded by these beautiful cars, these luxury uh, cars, these Cadillacs. Man, aren't they lovely? Absolutely marvelous. Big old wide rim tires plus seating. It looks real good on the outside. Take this one over here. It's really, really special. I sound like I'm selling cars, don't I? But I'm after something. You just follow me. It's a really, really sharp. Look at that interior. How nice and plush it is. You get up in this boy, I tell you, you got some mm, smells like it's new. Probably drives like it's new. It's lovely. It's wonderful. And anybody who was trying to pick a car, looking at this one, you, you probably go for it. It's all shiny and bright. You know, cars are kind of like people. If you just if you just go by the outside, they, they look really good and really sharp because they prepared it just for you, for you to look at, for you to enjoy, for you to be enticed, for you to be excited by. But man, let me tell you, I mean, now this one, this one is beautiful. Smoke gray, big wide ties. This, this looks good. And everything's just as good as the rest of them. It looks as nice as the rest of them do. And then all of a sudden you fool around and you say, I'm just going to take this out a little bit closer. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got a problem. Somebody had, somebody had to clean this thing up. This is a mess. Oh. They got all kind of junk in the trunk. Just like you and you and you and you and you and you. Touch your neighbor and say, I got junk in the trunk. Yeah, that's right. Everybody does. And this is what you don't know when you date them or when you meet them. You're so caught up with how they look on the outside. You're so caught up with externals. You're so caught up with the plushness of the way they talk, and what they drive, and where they live. And then you fool around, you start getting in here, and you start seeing all this junk. I don't know whose car this is, but I know they've been to McDonald's. Eh? They've been to McDonald's because I can tell by the junk. They got, the, oh, they had a, look, 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 they had an oil change recently. Yeah, they, because they still got some pins oil in here. Yeah, they, they, they had an oil change recently. They've been to Wendy's, too. Oh, whoever, whoever owns this car likes to play games because I can tell by the junk they got in the truck. It's all, they've been to Colonel Sanders, too. What I'm trying to get you to see is that when you start dating people, you never get to see what's on the inside. You never get to realize that in spite of the slick talk or the nice looks or the shapely body or even the scriptures they quote or the way they walk or their gait or their presentation, you don't know that they got all of this junk. The junk comes from all the places they've been. You don't collect it in a day, but over years and years and years of not cleaning yourself out and getting yourself together, all of your past is represented by the junk you got left in your trunk. And then you get up in front of a preacher like me, and we pronounce you man and wife, and you get married, and the honeymoon, and then the honeymoon is over, and you get home, and the next thing you know, all the junk comes out. Just little by little, my God, it starts coming at you. Every time you turn around, there's all this stuff coming at you. That's, that's, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to deal with the junk in the trunk.